All right, hey Aquarius. So I am doing a breakup read, separation, um, a split, whatever you want to call it. And you're going to know this is your read by the intro. The, these cards are just really wanting to just pop out, man. Anyways, I'm starting with an Oracle card. We're going to pull to see what caused the separation first. And then you guys, I'll pull your energy. So if you don't resonate with this, just know that uh, fire, or, I'm sorry, um, earth and water went out yesterday. So those are already out, air and fire today. All right, so we have not enough coming through. Frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, self-sabotage. Um, fear of ego issues and jealousy and we got busy and distracted okay so with not enough coming through it could be that the person on your mind space feels like they are not enough like you're too good it could be that they've made you feel like you're not enough or you're not good enough all right um like oh you, you know you're you're probably not the first second or third priority on this person's list and that's I feel like that's going to resonate with some of you guys. Um, you know what I mean? You're feeling like this is something that's supposed to be deeper. And then yet we got the heartbreak card showing up too. All right. So I can't help but feel like there's been a disconnection due to somebody feeling like inadequate. Okay. Making you feel like you're just not good enough. Maybe even make, you know, putting you down the list of priorities is kind of what I see. Um, I, I just feel like there's a lot with this not enough card, man. You got self-sabotage. So somebody, um, you know, purposely trying to uh, spoil the relationship um, and maybe not even trying to. Maybe it's like subconscious energy because somebody's got some healing that they need to do. So let's see what is happening here. What is happening here? We got the hermit card showing up, the queen of cups, and then we got this four of wands. Okay, so there's definitely... Gosh, you know what? Just from this energy alone, I'll tell you guys, Aquarius, I'm getting like uh, just this weird feeling because what I see here is the Queen of Cups coming through in reverse as far as what caused the split. This is somebody who lacks self-love, self self-care. This is somebody who maybe even be called like a codependent. You got issues, that type of energy, okay? And I can't help but feel like you're probably dealing with somebody who's a narcissist, especially if they're making you feel like that. If they are... Um, you know what I mean? If they're, if it's friends and everybody else before you, um, I just, I, the queen of cups in reverse, I feel like that's what they've um, come to make you feel like, you know, um, like you're not enough. Um, as far as the hermit card, I just feel like there, it's like a one-sided relationship, you know, it's like a one-sided relationship or has been, um, and you guys could be, um, somebody that's been intertwined with each other for months months and maybe even years you know like everything is just kind of dissipating um you know I can't help but feel like that I feel like for whoever is here you guys are gonna make me cry I feel like for whoever is here you're very lonely um but you you got somebody you know what I mean there's supposed to be somebody right there man what is your energy what is your energy? I just feel like the, the, the cause of the split is somebody just outwardly disrespecting the connection and the relationship. Um, the devil card, this right here, man, I just, I, I can't help but feel like the chariot. So I feel like you're kind of, um, okay. So typically I, I won't point out who's here, but I feel like, you know, there's a strong female energy and I feel like um, that female energy is feeling a little bit discontented towards the opposite sex. Okay. Um, that's what I feel like. And I just kind of feel like this person, and I don't mean it in a horrible negative way. I just feel like it's like, I would rather be alone for the rest of my life than have to go through something like this again. And I feel like you're just getting a bad taste in your mouth for the masculine energy. That's just what I see here. So this might be super specific, you guys. Um, that's just the energy I felt as soon as these cards drop. I just feel like somebody's just like, I'd rather just be alone for the rest of my life than be alone and have somebody, you know, um, in my space. I, I, I feel like the devil card is not like the horrible hatred and putrid thoughts. I feel like it's more about, um, why, why would somebody make me feel this way? You know what I mean? It's almost like they're deliberately trying to, um, stunt your growth make you hidden, make you not be seen. And I feel like you just want to pull away from this connection and, and, and be like, I'll just be by myself. It's not worth it. Um, how do you feel about this person coming through? And you know what? Sometimes it, I don't know. I've been in a situation before where it's like, Oh, well, but I never cheated on you. Well, so what? Um, you know what I mean? To have that, uh, to, to feel that low, to feel that, um, yeah. How do you feel about this person? 
how do you feel about this person look at that death card is showing up here that's all about i feel like we're kind of wanting to squash it with the queen of wands so here's what i'm going to say i feel like at one point in time you were very attracted to the idea of this person and you were very attracted to this person but i really feel like you know this person has imposed a lot of self-limiting beliefs on you i feel like this person has capped you or stunted your growth in such a way that it's like condensed your spirit you know what i mean usually i would look at the page of wands in the upright as somebody who's um freeing the spirit somebody who's you know it's evolving and growing together but i don't see that energy here if anything i feel like this person um it's like you know if they're gonna cage you up man i don't want it and that's kind of what i feel like uh you can't leave but yet they're never there you know what i mean and i just feel like for whoever is here you're really just in this situation like you don't feel like you're good enough you know um that's just what i see so let's see who it is we're talking about who are we talking about what is this person's energy this person's energy we got the page of cups so cancer scorpio pisces you got the nine of wands which is going to be gemini and then we got the two of cups coming through all right i feel like this is a, an actual relationship you guys could probably be watching this and the person that you're dealing with is in the other room um that's almost what i feel like okay um, I just feel like this person's energy is real childish, you know, um, I, I do feel like there's that soulmate energy, which it can be a negative karmic experience and still be a soulmate. Um, it's because we were signed up or signed ourselves up to experience growth with this person, even if it feels one sided. Okay. Um, as far as um, this person's energy, who they are, I just feel like they could be younger than you. There could be an age gap. It doesn't have to be. Um, but I feel like w one thing that you guys maybe even lack with this person or haven't done in a long time is uh, it's like the ability to get deep with them. Um, because I feel like the energy is just, it's very, very lopsided. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's what represents these cards. It's like too hard to talk to this person about feelings and emotions. And I can't even help but feel like if you guys have tried to get deep and emotional and express yourself to them, I feel like it's really downplayed um, energy. Um, you know what I mean? I don't got time to listen to you right now. How do they feel about you? <clears throat> How do they feel about you? Look at that. That King of Cups in reverse, man. Look at this. Uh, how do they feel about you? Like you're, you're very moody. Um, you know what I mean? Emotionally manipulative, um, jealous, insecure, unrealistic, overactive. Uh, but you know, how dare you take yourself away from me? That's the stolen heart card. Okay. And with the six of wands, it's like, I thought, I thought everything was golden. I thought it was good, but I guess not, you know? Um, I can't help but feel like you're dealing with somebody who places blame or, or victimizes uh, even themselves. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like this person could be hurting you in a lot of emotionally sensitive ways and if they don't, they don't even see it. Okay. I feel like the way this person feels about you or sees you is you hurt them, but I can't help but feel like they're the ones that are causing, they're like the root, they're the root of this, you know? Um, let's just see what they want with this connection. What do they want with this connection? What do they want? We have the six of cups showing up here, which is the return. We have the nine of wands and then we got the queen of swords coming through. I got to sneeze. Um, I feel like, okay, so here, what I, I, here's what I'm going to say. The queen of um, swords, excuse me, came in reverse. Um, I do feel like they want to talk. I do feel like they want to communicate, but it's almost like they're waiting for you to come crawling back. I feel like they, they're waiting for you to come begging for something that you don't want to beg for. Okay, I feel like with the Queen of Swords in reverse, um, you know, I, you guys, I'm having a sneezing fit. I'm sorry. Um, the Queen of Swords in reverse, um, that is somebody who's cold hearted, who is easily influenced and is overly emotional. Okay, and I almost feel like they see you again as, as all of that negative energy. I can't help but feel like you're dealing with somebody who likes to project and place blame. I'm going to put the blame over here, you know. Um, anyways, what they want with this connection is I feel like they're going to keep their guard raised up until you come crawling back to them. That's kind of what I feel like their energy is. It's almost like they're standing above you waiting with their arms folded. Okay, so let's just see what it is. Um... Let's just see if this person is going to take any actions to start healing the connection themselves. Are they going to take any actions to help heal this connection? 
We have the High Priestess card showing up. That card coming through in reverse. We have the Ace of Swords. And then we have the Hangman card showing up in reverse also. So to me, I do feel like after some time passes, this person will come back. And I feel like that's if you stand your ground, Aquarius. Okay, so that's like if you don't give in and come to them first. And if you guys go past like the 30 to 45 day intention that I set on this, um, what I'm going to say is, is keep moving forward. Keep, because you know what, you're going to have to heal from this connection. You're going to have to heal from the energy that you've experienced with this. Even if you want to get back with this person, um, they're going to have to, they're going to have to heal or correct their ways. And you're going to have to heal and correct what you've experienced through them. So let's just see what's happening in the next 30 to 45 days. The next 30 to 45 days, we got the two of wands showing up. You got the new beginning and you got balance coming through, you guys. I feel like that's real positive energy. And I feel like that's going to come through if you stand your ground. So that's if you don't give in. Okay. I feel like if you um, wait it out and you continue to, to grow on your own journey and move along your own path, this person, if they choose to come back, which I do see they will, um, I feel like it could, it has a potential to straighten itself out, but you also have a potential to take your free will and say, uh, no, you've been a, enough of an experience and I want something, you know, fresh and something that we don't have to go back and, and put fix a flat in all the tires. Right. So let's just see if you decide to go with this person and you guys decide to move forward, how the future looks for you guys. If you decide to heal, repair and grow, what is it looking like? All right. You got a long journey ahead. I feel like you are being told that. And I feel like you're going to see that and you already know. Okay. We have the three of pentacles, which is building and growing. It's like re, um, it's, it's restabilizing the trust. Okay. I feel like you guys will come back. It's like where maybe you don't feel such a, a, a commitment. I do feel like you guys will actually um, strengthen that commitment. You got the page of swords coming through with the moon card. And I feel like some of you guys may choose not to look past what you've already seen with this person. And I feel like it could be just a two way even split for you guys that are here. Okay. So I'm going to just go through the Oracle and that's the card you guys got. And it says, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not your mind for the heart is the gateway to the soul. Okay. And I feel like some of you guys could be heavily thinking that it's time for a new phase in life. All right, I'm going to pull some initials. All right, you guys come through with E, V, W, E, U, I, L, and we got O. And I really hope to interact with you guys that might be experiencing this, Aquarius. I'm going to leave it right here, you guys. Good luck and take care.